Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, and I'm having some trouble. This is a, well, someone won't say new, but recently arrived Alienware M7700 um, D9T laptop, also known as the Sager um, D900T or the Clevo D900K. All exactly the same thing, just with, you know, Different little um, covers or whatnot, pretty much exactly the same thing. But I'm having hard drive issues with this. When I turn it on, boots up okay. And it detects the 93 gigabyte hard drive that's um, in the default thing, and then boot and rescue thing comes up, and then boot GMR is missing, or MGR or whatever. I have a Windows 7 home screen premium 64 bit um, disk alien worth this specific um, OS disk and um, it, I'm just wondering if there's a way I'm sure I could boot up for that because as far as I can tell I can't. I was able to do it one time but I forget what I did. It has one hard drive underneath here. It's got a hard drive under here. The reason why I have it on this is so that will then one, two, three, four, and there we go. I also think that you're not allowed to have it on its side, otherwise it will get hotter for some odd reason. But, um, I also have another, um, hard drive in this. It looks like a regular DVD thing, but in fact it's just something identical to this, pretty much. You know? This to hard drive adapter. This one died, so I had to get a new one. See the connection is dead. So that's that. Control delete. Hitting F2 will allow me to go into system utilities. And it's detecting the one that's down under here, but it's also recognizing in the CD drive um, optical device slot um, the 320 gigabyte that I have that's in here. Now, you saw before the 93 gigabyte one was being recognized at the boot, and it's recognizing the second one in the um, BIOS. Why it's not being able to boot from either one of those, I have no idea. But there, but I have it in this boot order to boot from the CD first, well, DVD first, and if not, we're going to, um, um, hard drive. I'm gonna, oh, and advanced, here's the setup I have. In ATA mode, it wouldn't, um, recognize anything in the RAID mode, gotta reset the, BIOS for RAID mode, and there you go. But in the meantime, I'm just going to sit and save. And do the Control F thing when this comes up so I could um, show you what else is going on. Church. Well, F11, whatever. Try to first um, I mean, hit F6 so I could go to another alternate menu. And I couldn't find a floppy drive. Why is it looking for a floppy drive? Well, I guess since this computer was around when Windows XP was out, yeah. 
I'll tilt the screen up a little bit so you can see it. I hey, don't mind the spotlight. It's the only way you can see what I'm doing on the keyboard if you need to. And now down here you can see the charge, power, and battery, and the Wi-Fi Bluetooth lights on. So it shows the wireless is working, and there goes the light. Please wait, please wait. And now for the first time you can actually do something, but then it reboots. I still have no idea what's going on there. Now without doing the boot for recovery, the GMR is missing. Control delete to restart. And yet there goes the delay. This light has a mind of its own sometimes. Whatever. I showed you pretty much everything that was needed to be shown anyways. I guess I'll show you a little bit more on the bio so you can see exactly what I have on it. Look at all that on your own time. I'm not going to be reading through it. Can't change anything there. Device configuration. This is just for um, serial and parallel ports. And there's no supervisor password. I have all these. Um, Does that say Met shit? Ha <laughs> ha. Assholes. That's pretty much that you could um, hard drive for the one in the optical drive. Um, it's an Ultra DMA Mode 2. I'm not sure exactly what that is. CD ROM drive. I'm sure. These arrow keys are kind of messed up. Or just in an awkward format. Device 1, you could see, it's that. Internal memory, that. This is all um, pretty much standard. The only thing that would be different would be um, they're either RAID mode or ADA mode. And again, no password. I'm just going to exit and show you that it's just still going to be doing the exact same thing. And you saw how the CD drive was in boot first. Boot MGR is missing. Same thing. If you guys have any idea um, how to get to like a boot screen to boot from the CD or, um, you know, a way to fix this hard drive or awkward hard drive setup, 
please let me know. Um, I've already spent well over a hundred dollars into this thing getting the power adapter that's fifty, the hard drive cable that's twenty, the um caddy um that's another twenty, the um expansion bay caddy that's another twenty. So about a hundred ten dollars already. And the laptop itself was a hundred dollars, so I don't know, I just don't want all this money to go to waste, so please, if you have any ideas, let me know. Thanks, Kimboy out.